Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here of Plan with Elise and today we are going to be making two different pages that I'm going to end up putting in my budget planner for 2023. So I will of course have a 2023 setup video, um, budget planner setup video coming soon but in the meantime there's just a couple of things that I want to create for my planner so I thought I would do it here with you. So the first one is going to be, um, and of course these are both budget related things because this is my budget planner, but the first one is going to be a, um, an income tracker. So I know my income from my full-time job, but I have additional income that comes in from Plan with Elise. So I'm using the Dated Basics Volume 2 sticker book by Kelva Plan, which releases on Friday the 11th of November. So maybe we'll use this sticker, 2023. And then I'm going to grab my alphabet. These are the original alphabet stickers. And let's grab my tweezers, which somehow are stuck with a pen. And I'm going to bring in the green because green money but now that I've organized all of these stickers to be together it's so much easier just to be able to grab them that was a video from uh, last week if you missed it so be sure to check that out so we're gonna write plan with not right. We're going to sticker. I feel like I always say right and I don't mean right. <laughs> Plan with. And I'm trying to measure this out so I'm going to be able to fit it all. I'm a little nervous I might not be able to, but I'd like it to be on the same line as the 2023. So we might have to get these together. Maybe I need a shorter name. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Um, and as I continue this, I want to talk more about the different can't really kind of get this straight. The different ways that you could use this page. Oh my goodness. Okay, <sighs> we've got it. Putting it on a ruler like this, if you haven't seen me use a ruler for stickers before, it just kind of helps you map it out and get everything down straight. Now with me, we know that I can't typically get stickers down straight, but this does seem to help. And then you can kind of move the ruler around and decide where you want things to go. Okay, I think we should be able to fit Elise here. Let's see. I, let's get the L. Yeah, that should fit. Why? I feel like every time I move this over my desk, gets shaky. It's just one of these days. I'm thinking of maybe something I, I don't need a new desk. The only issue I have is that, see, we're a little shaky. So this isn't even a desk. It's an Ikea table that I got years ago back when um, the same company I work for now, but we used to have an office. Even before COVID, we, we got rid of the office, but there we go. Plan with Elise. Let me just go up a little bit higher and then just press these down. Um, we used to be above some stores, like in a, in a in a town, and there was a clothing store beneath us that was closing, and they used this table. It's like a long white IKEA table, and they used it um, to put jeans on, like to sell folded jeans. And when they were closing, they were selling a lot of their. Um, it's not called furniture when it's in a store. I mean, I know it is called furniture, but there's a word. I can't think of it. But a lot of those things they were selling, and they were selling this for $40. And I had just gotten an extra office within our office space. Like we were, it was upstairs and we had, um, it was it was my company, which is digital marketing, and a psychiatrist's office and an attorney's office. And then there was this, um, another psychiatrist who left and we ended up picking up that office space, which became my office. So I needed a desk and not that it was necessarily my responsibility to purchase one, but um, I figured that, you know, if I did purchase it again for $40, this wasn't a big investment, then when whatever the future held, I'd be able to 
have it as my own. And then, of course, a year or so later, I think in 2019, we closed down our offices because my boss decided that we could probably work from home. And it was like kind of a weird thing at the time. It was like work from home and not, you know, see each other. How are we going to communicate? All of that kind of stuff. And then about six months later, the rest of the world started working from home. Well, not everyone, of course, but a lot of people. So I was able to take this desk home with me, which was great because at the time I lived in a studio apartment and I didn't have a desk. So it all kind of worked out really well because now I have this one that's been with me in, let's see, the studio, then my ex's house, then my mom's house. My office, the old office, my old apartment, the one bedroom, and now this one. So it's carried me through six places. So I don't know, maybe it might be a 2023 goal to get a different one. But for now, it works except for when it's shaky. So, all right, we're going to put these right here. Perfect. Okay, so now I am getting set up. Now we are going to grab, let me move this over because I don't need this anymore. Move this uh, spare sticker here. And I'm grabbing the Jojo Mojo Jojo green boxes sticker book because I want some of these green boxes. So I think we're gonna go with these because they fit really nicely or the color matches really nicely. And I guess I haven't used any of these before. So let me see, one, two, Let's kind of do some measuring for a second. I had a page similar to this last year and one of, well, last year, meaning this current year. And one of the challenges that I faced was that if I'd put the months here and then write the income as plan with Elise grows, there are multiple sources of income. So sometimes more than I necessarily have space for here. So I think we may do a back and front situation here just to give myself the room now I hope that doesn't like jinx me in terms of if I give myself extra space I hope that the income doesn't go down but I'd rather have it and not use it than need it and not have it because I've been needing it a little bit this year and what I'm doing is just kind of tracking on the other side of a, a scrap piece of paper Okay, so dated basics, I'm going to grab, let's see, trying to decide which of these I want to use. I think we're going to use these. January, February. I know that the sticker's crooked, right? I'm just trying to ignore it. I can't ignore it. It's like you'd think that having the line there to line it up make me more likely to make the sticker straight but that's not always the case February and March okay now we want and then I'm going to write the amount here so let's say in January I make $500 I'll list down here like YouTube this amount um, happy planner affiliate this amount Etsy this amount and so I'll be able to Put these down now let's go let's see where we are about halfway so seven and a half so we're gonna go like three right about here let me keep my finger there one two three four five six seven one two three four five six oh that was terrible okay let's try it again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one more. There we go. And then this will give me the space. And what I do is I can write small. So if I need to do double columns, I can absolutely do that as well. And this is just really helpful. This still isn't straight. We're just going to leave it. Um, but it's also not like centered. I'm going to try to fix it. This will also help me when it comes to accounting and taxes. So, oh, I wanted to talk about ways to use this page. Oh, well, that was a mistake. Okay. Sorry, Heather. I always feel bad when I rip someone's stickers. All right. There's a backup here, so we can, we can do that. But we're going to try to fix this and get it a little bit more centered. I think this one down here is better. 
not really. So if you have any additional source of income besides a regular job or not even that, but if your job, you're not salary and maybe you make different amounts each week, this could be a place to total it. If you work in an industry where you get tips or something like that, this could definitely be something you could use. I get that straight before I continued speaking. Okay. So a page like this can be really helpful for those types of things. Whenever you need to track stuff that isn't always the same. April. I feel like you could even use this as sort of a DIY budget page in terms of to calculate how much you spent on certain things. Like I think it would be really helpful to know how much you spend on electric. And I do have a video, I think that went up in February of this year on how to you make a page similar to this to track your electric bill each month or your gas or things like that, that you may want to know, like when you're making your December budget, you may want to know what you spent on heat and electricity or whatever your requirements are, you know, where you live in that month, because it'll help you budget for the next month. And of course you could look back at your bill, right? But we don't always have access to those things. And I think we're also, I, I am, I'll speak for myself, a paper planner. I like to look in my planner to see and reference those things. So yes, can I, can I go look at Etsy to see what I made last month? Absolutely. Do I like to have it in my planner? 100% is my preference. Okay, now we are going to, we're going to go here for the extra three months. And then this page will be ready for my planner and ready to earn some money. <laughs> and track it. And I will say my accountant likes it. <laughs> I mean, some of these things I do get forms from, right? Etsy, I don't, you don't get a form from unless you make like some crazy, I think it's like $20,000. They don't give you a tax form, but you can download all your statements. So um, my accountant does like the fact that I do have these things tracked. So 2023, here we come. Let's make a second page. All right, now this next page is also going to be similar to a page that I had last year. So the budget one that I just did, that was, um, I did share that, it was actually a Happy Planner Squad project. So I never filmed it or anything like that. I made the decision early on with Squad with my first project not to film the um, projects that I was doing. Because for a couple reasons, first of all, sometimes it, the way that it works is you submit a project, but you don't necessarily know when Happy Planner is going to share it. So it was hard to kind of figure out my schedule without knowing when they were going to share it. I'm just looking. E-X-T-R-A. Okay, we're good with this. Um, so that was part of it where I wouldn't know when they were going to share it. So it was hard to map that out. And I also decided that I do so much on camera that the squad, the things for squad were going to be things that I was just going to kind of do on my own, in my own time, um, kind of relaxed, you know, at my desk or in front of my TV or something like that. It just, I did it with the first project and then sort of decided from here on out that I would do it with all others. So this was never, this was never filmed, but we're gonna, I'm gonna talk about this. this. This page is going to be for things that I need to remember each month to budget for. So we have extra um, M-O-N-T-H. Okay, we're out of, oh wait, L-Y. But then I'm nervous that I'm not gonna have I have like some black in both of these. Okay. E, X, oh wait, I already did extra. Sorry, my brain, I need, let me map this out. I'll be right back. Okay, I think we'll be good. So I'm going to write, or not write, oh my goodness, extra. 
monthly. And theoretically, the one that I made last year, I'm going to show you in, when we're finished with this, but um, I probably could have like laminated or used pencil in or something like that, but the needs change each year. Like for example, um, something that I, that came up in August last year was a vacation. Now I don't necessarily know that I'm going to do a family vacation next year. I hope that we will, but we're going to be running out of a little space here. This might not work. Well, I could always use the next line. Um, L, where are you, L? Okay, monthly. So some things will be the same, like Go Wild is in March. Go Wild was in March last year, so those are things to budget for um, in March. But, and like birthdays and anniversaries and those kinds of things will stay the same. But I also had a ton of babies in my life born this year, so that will be something that won't happen next year, although there will be first birthdays. So we're gonna have a lot, a lot more birthdays next year, but it's good. It's a, it's a good thing to celebrate birthdays and have people in my life to celebrate. So just like, can't believe how many babies that there have been. This is like the biggest boom in my life in a long time because my two best friends, so one had a baby in March and one is due in December. And then two planner friends, Heather and Elizabeth. Oops, I'm doing, I'm writing the wrong word. I'm stickering the wrong word. I don't need this T. I do need the E and the X though. Um, and Nicole of Proud Sticker Designs, whose stickers I always use. By the time this video goes up, she will also having a baby. So there's a lot. And my best friend that had the baby in March, her husband is a twin and we've known them for years. And he and his wife also had a baby this year. So I sent them a present because I see them at like holidays and birthdays and, and things. And I've known him for nine years. So I need another S. Um, Oh, and this is another one. <laughs> that same that same friend that had the baby in March, her brother is having, and his wife are having their first um, soon, I think. I feel like soon. I need to exactly find out. I don't know that I'll send a present because we've got to stop it somewhere, right? <laughs> but um, it's just, it's a lot of babies. It's a lot of joy. Okay. <sighs> oh, and my sister-in-law, she, she became an aunt again. So... All right, extra monthly expense. Sorry, that was like a big explanation of everyone in my life who had a baby this year. <laughs> that was a lot. All right, now, and I know that some of my patrons have had new babies in their families. All right, we are gonna grab the new checklist, or not, the new mm, stencil from the Happy Planner. And let's see, if I put this one here, I just wanna measure for a second to okay I think we're gonna go just a touch higher here and I'm gonna draw squares we're gonna do three across and four down for all 12 months of the year higher here. I probably could use my ruler to fully measure this, but I'm not that concerned. But if you were doing it and you wanted it to be a little bit more precise, then definitely a ruler would be key. Are you still on camera? Oh, move it up. Sorry. Sometimes I forget to look to make sure that you can see everything I'm doing and that we are fully in frame. I love these stencils. I feel like I'm finding so many uses for them just in my everyday. I'm using them a lot for my journal and for just like random lists. And then something like this, it's great to have the perfect size box. 
I'm thinking of doing a video sharing different ways to use these stencils and just trying to figure out when to fit it in because this is the time of year of so many videos and not enough days to share them. So, okay, let's go back to Dated Basics. And, hmm, I just had another idea. I'm wondering if we bring in hmm, some of these rainbow ones. I think we're gonna stick with black and white for now. But I ripped that February. So now we have to, let me see what other, I think those are the smallest ones, right? These are gonna be too big, I think. Let's see. I feel like I may as well stick with the smaller ones. Actually, I think these will work. Because December is probably one of the longer words. But I think these, I feel like they're gonna be you know what, they're gonna be a little bit big in terms of cumbersome for these boxes. But again, there are more to choose from. So, oops, ripped that off. There are definitely other ways to use, we'll go for the smaller ones. There's definitely more ways to use this sticker book than just redating a planner. I feel like when I did the flip through and the plan with me, it was more of a demonstration video versus planning. Um, and I knew I wanted to make these pages anyway for my planner. So I was like, this is the perfect sticker book to use. So we're just going to get these down. I feel like this is very black and white, but it's going to change. We're going to add some more color in shortly. These are just simple things to be able to do that really like both of these pages that I'm making today are, I don't want to say quick, I mean, depending on if you're not talking through it like I am, but they're, um, they're easy. They don't take, you know, much, much effort. Okay. Now we are going to go to, whoops, an old happy planner. These are from the older budget stickers and I'm going to grab some bullets. I totally struggle with these bullets. So I'm gonna put them here. And then like, I know that in January, my renter's insurance is due. Um, and I don't know that I'll have any, so far, right? We're still a few months away. I don't know that I have anything else in January that's going to need money that I know of it yet, but like when I'm looking at my January page of last year to reference, it's oral surgery. I, don't, I wouldn't have known last year that that was going to come up. So a lot of these I kind of still fill in as time goes on. Like right now, my November says holiday shopping and my trip to Florida, but that might change. Like there may be more things that come up in November that I'm not thinking about. I have my brother and sister-in-law's anniversary, just thinking of like things in November. I don't typically buy presents for that. Um, I mean, Thanksgiving doesn't really incur a cost for me, but if it does, if you host or you're bringing something, it might have a cost for you. So those are kind of things to think about. But then of course, there's also things that aren't just holidays, right? Like I had a few different family bat mitzvahs. I had a retirement gift for my mom. Um, just other things that come up throughout the year that you want to make sure to budget for. All right, August, let's do um, March. So we're sort of going a little bit. Oops, these are a pain. Let's get March in. I feel like I should probably just get these bullets down and then keep going like do this part off camera maybe. But I'm ripping these like crazy. So I think that once I get this last one down, we will do that and then I'm gonna come back. 
Okay, bullets are down. Now I grabbed some mild liners that the colors were not perfect matches, but good enough matches, I think, to the bullets that I brought down. And we're just gonna add a little bit of shading here. I feel like it's just a fun little extra touch. I guess that you could also use these instead of bullets if you wanted to. Oops, we're getting that shaky desk again. And it just kind of brings something in. I'm wondering, do I actually go fully around or do I just leave it? Let's start by just doing the shadow. I feel like these are the little details that, again, aren't necessary details, but I enjoy doing them. I find myself craving putting something on paper sometimes, especially when I'm stressed out. Like I just want to write things down. It, it helps calm me. I think it's why I enjoy decorative planning so much. It's like a creative outlet for me, which is the exact reason that I went out and bought a happy planner in the first place because I needed a new creative outlet. And I also wanted something that was going to be productive and look at what it has turned into. The blue is a nice match. And oops. Turn these a little bit frayed yellow. I think this yellow is gonna be bright. It's not terrible. It feels good, even though I'm not in my planners yet, just to start kind of setting up the things that are going to be in the planner and going to help me keep myself organized next year. But I'm dying to get into my planners. Just one of these things about YouTube is I'm not quite ready to do my lineup yet. So I feel like until I film my lineup, I can't start doing <laughs> these kinds of things. Budget wise, I can, because I can just share with you the different things I'm going to be creating to put in my planner. But that's a wrap. I hope, oh, I wanted to, well, I was going to start to write some of the things in. So like, if I'm just going in terms of basics, um, we'll put a few in as an example. So we have rent, insurance is annual for me. And then March, we have Go Wild. And I think I'm just going to write birthdays because there's a lot of birthdays in March. So I feel like just birthdays, although birthdays are really something for every month, but March, there's just a lot. So um, what else? April, I don't know of anything. May, we have Mother's Day. And Carly's birthday. We'll write B day. Um, okay, so wait, let me do math for a second. <laughs> December, January, February, March. March is going to be my quarterly Botox treatment for my migraines. April, March, April, May, June. That's also going to be June. September. and December. And it's almost $500 each time. So it's important for me to make sure that I'm prepared for that, right? Um, the, what else? December, I have my prime renewal. So this is definitely a spot to put down annual renewals, annual subscriptions, or like um, if you have something for your car you have to pay every, like a registration fee, things like that. So these are the types of things to put down in here. In October, we have my mom's birthday. So that as the months go on and you are preparing your budget for the following month or even few months, like Botox isn't something I'm going to save. I'm not going to put away $500 in February. That's going to be an ongoing savings type thing for me. Um, March, of course, 
with Go Wild as well, there are expenses at Go Wild, food, drinks, like anything outside of the conference itself, um, the hotel, stuff like that, but the transportation and ticket and all of that is paid for in advance, but there are definitely things that um, you have to pay for while you are there. So I hope that um, you enjoy this and that this gives you some ideas on things you can do in your planner, even if it's not budget related. If you're not a budget person, maybe there are some thoughts here on ways that you can do this. You can even make this a birthday page tracker and write down all the birthdays or anniversaries in your life on something like that. So as a reminder, Dated Basics releases on Friday, November 11th, 10 a.m. Central. And I have my affiliate link in the description of this video, um, which does give me a commission if you purchase through my link. So I appreciate your support. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.